because patella luxations are a malalignment of that quadriceps mechanism, it is a surgical condition. So we do recommend surgery to fix this because there's no way for that mechanism to be realigned without a surgical intervention. That being said, some dogs are aclinical for this disease, meaning that they have had a patella luxation, usually a low-grade patella luxation from a young age, and they've never developed any issues. They've never had a lameness or a limp in their life. And in those cases, we're not gonna jump into a surgery. Those cases, we're gonna wanna monitor. We're gonna let you know that it's there just to make sure that we are monitoring appropriately, but we're not gonna recommend a surgery for those. If we are showing clinical signs or if the the luxation is higher in grade, then we likely are gonna recommend surgery to correct this issue. So how do we correct this issue? Like we talked about, the problem here with a patel luxation is that we are not having our quadriceps mechanism, our patella, aligned with that groove at the end of the thigh bone. So we're gonna to have to realign that. To do that, the most common way that we do it is to take the insertion down at the shin bone and move it medially or laterally, laterally. So if we have a medial patella luxation, we're gonna push that insertion to the outside. If we have a lateral patella luxation, we're gonna push it to the inside. And what that allows us to do is to move that line from a deviated position back into a straight line through the end of the thigh bone. That's gonna push that patella back in place and it's gonna uh, make it so that it maintains that position much better. The other things that we do with the surgery is that we um, are going to deepen the groove. So during development, the end of the thigh bone is going to develop this groove because it has that kneecap in place. If the kneecap is not there to develop the groove, so to push down on that bone to deepen that groove, it will develop a shallow groove or sometimes it won't even be a groove at all, it'll actually be convex. If we see that during surgery, we're going to correct that problem. And the way that we do that is we actually take out a small piece of cartilage from the groove itself, and then we go underneath it and we deepen that groove even further. That allows us to then place that cartilage back in place so that we have nice healthy cartilage for our patella to glide over and in essence then we do create a deeper groove because we've hollowed out bone underneath that cartilage that we've reset in position. The reason that that's beneficial is that now the groove is deep, the walls that the patella would then have to climb over to be able to come out of that groove are much taller. So since we have a taller wall, it's harder for that patella to come out. That means that we're gonna have a deeper seated patella, more chance of keeping that in place long-term. Other things that we'll typically do with this, we'll typically do some soft tissue repair. So we'll release some of the tissues that have scarred down, that have tightened that patella into place in one location, and we'll tighten up some of the, the tissues that have stretched to allow that, have allowed that patella to move back and forth out of the groove. Once we do that, we should have a nice stable patella. And that being said, we are dealing with a dynamic process. So as the muscle flexes and extends, as the tissues strengthen and, and, and weaken, we can have motion of that kneecap down the road. So some of these dogs, somewhere around 10%, will have reluxations in the future. Now our hope is, is that your dog will never have a reluxation. That's the goal with surgery. But our secondary goal, if we do have a patella luxation in the future, is that it will be a much lower grade luxation. So say we had a grade three, which is a patella luxation that the kneecap is almost always out of the groove, but we can still put it back manually um, during an exam. If we do a surgery on a grade three and we get it down to a grade one, which means that it always stays in place, it never luxates clinically, but in the, in the exam, I can push it out, I can push it back in, well, then as long as we're not having any clinical signs, we're satisfied with that repair, though we would obviously like it never to come out.